Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Now I am just doing some exploring here, and I have managed to find the uh, Galena vein, which has the lead. Now I don't think I can process Galena yet, but silver and lead I can. Um, so I need to, I don't know, I can't remember what was the quest. I just look at it. So 32 lead dust, so I'm assuming I need 16 of these. Um, it's not the easiest to find in the vein, as we can see. But that seems to kind of be the rule, <laughs> the general rule around um, some of these veins. I can get the materials from like Lena, but I can't process it yet. So it'll be easier as we progress. Um, but that's pretty typical for Greg Tech. So I'm just gonna kinda, let's see, it looks like this is actually the edge. Oh, did I like find the, the very edge of it? Go one more out that way. Yeah, it looks like I found the very edge of the vein. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I usually don't immediately find the edge of the vein, so I can start kind of like clearing out. So now I am in a bit of a cave here, and there's tons of mobs around. Looks like there's like a little lake above here so I've got to be a little bit careful but it looks like it looks like the vein goes to about here so yeah it definitely seems like I've managed to find the very edge of it which helps um, but anyway let me uh, get a bunch of let's see if we can yeah do that uh, I'll let me get a bunch of the lead and we will meet back at the base all right got a bunch of lead so I'm off and apparently if it's raining in the wild forest it's raining here as well and there is a slime, which I'm not going to worry about. Definitely want to do something. I want to get some more materials, I think. Um, but right now, materials are a bit scarce, so I don't know if I want to be building like a big wall. I could just do like cobble, but that's not as fun. Alright, so as we can see, uh, I got 24 lead and... About six stacks of Galena and a stack and a half of silver, so you can kind of see the ratio of uh, the ratio for lead to the rest. And unfortunately, it looks like that is full. Me too. All right, I'm gonna keep those. We'll throw those in there. I can't process those yet. Alright. When I also got this wool of a bat, I killed a bat, so I will take it. Alright, so let's get these mates ready up. Alright, so I would like to get a I want to try a pump. And if we look at this, not too difficult, so um, 10, and right, so I need these rings. And the only way to get these rings is either with an extruder or a fluid solidifier. I'm going to need both, obviously. But I think I may 
Uh, get the fluid slitter fire first. So I can craft. Um, so I can I can melt down the chemical uh, the rubber in the chemical reactor, but the only thing I can do with it is coat wires with it. I can't get it out. And uh, the only way to do that would be a fluid solidifier. And uh, I can't do a whole lot with the. Is there any way to? I can't remember if there's any way to pull up like fluid solidifier recipes um, in one dot in NEI. I think this is NEI, right? Yeah. Um, oops. Oh wait, I can do it. Never mind. Get the rubber rings like this. So why don't we just go ahead and do this? I swear I looked and didn't see. I thought there was a knife and a rubber sheet recipe, but I couldn't find the. Uh... See the rubber extruder recipe. I'm like, okay, so I can get four rubber rings from one, but if I want to do the chemical reactor recipe, I have no way to get the things. Oh, and I need pumps for this anyway. All right, so. Let's go ahead and make some pumps. I'm going to make three, I think. Yeah, I'm going to make three at once because I need to use one and then I will use. All right, so this is pretty easy too. Just uh, two things and a piston. So I'm actually going to. I don't know if I need the extruder right away. Um, anyway, let me get some of these parts crafted up for the motors and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so this is kind of wasting steam right now. And we're kind of waiting for the lead uh, to process as well. Um, so, yeah, let me cut and I will be back. All right, so I have got the electric pump and unfortunately... I saw the assembler recipe, got excited, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll put that in. I don't have to use the tools like my screwdriver and the hammer. So my screwdriver is getting a bit low. Uh, so I crafted it. I got the electric pump right here. Uh, but unfortunately, it it's not detecting the... It's a crafting test, so the um, Questbook is not detecting my electric pump, unfortunately. I am um, I have a couple uh, I have more materials um, to craft more of them so I mean it's not that big of a deal uh, but yeah fortunately um, crafting by machine will not get the it won't like detect the crafting um, Crafting thing, unfortunately. Shoot. I needed extra ring. But anyway, while a lot of this stuff is crafting up, I need a couple. Oh, I need four rings. I, don't know, I think I got that from a quest, and I have these rubber sheets. I don't remember. But they actually worked out. Oh, I need more bronze, too. So yeah, definitely make sure you do it in a crafting table if it is a crafting um, crafting task. Anyway, uh, let's move on while that stuff is uh, crafting up. So what I want to do is get the Cree salt. As you can see, is completely full. It's not letting the blocks of coals uh, turn into coal coke. It's turned off. And I need creosote in here. Now, it's been a while since I attempted this, but I think you, you have to put the pipes down, right? Is that, so I put the pipe down. Um, can I 
do this on the like that. Yeah, I can't. Okay. So there we go. So the pump is on the multi block. I will right click so it is connected. I don't think there's any crease filter in there. There is not, but let's do this. And I forgot to right click on the the other pipe to auto connect it. All right, so there's the pipes. They are connected. I could even do smaller. Isn't there like tiny pipes or something like that? Or I could, I think I could even do. Yeah, tiny run pipes. I don't even. I don't even do you need to use these bigger ones. Um. But they're on it now, and the. Screwdriver, I believe, sets the. I gotta make sure I'm actually. Oops. I'm a little worried I'm. It's gonna click on the pipe. I don't know. Let's right click. Nope. B. The, there we go. So if you right click on the. You can right click on the pipes and it'll do like. So this is the back. It'll actually right click on. The pump and I set it to import as you can see the um, I was trying to sleep and it the darkness weirds me out I always think it's later than it is um, but I was importing it now it's importing the creosote and it should be sending it in there which it looks like it is all right unfortunately I don't like that because I don't like how you can see through it. Um, so I'm going to change that. I think if I just do, yeah. And let's see. I can turn that off. It should empty, which it's not because those are probably full. Uh, do I care enough to worry about 800 buckets of creosote? I'll give that a second. I don't want to waste any more than I need. Um, but yeah, once he's emptied out, which should be relatively soon, um, yeah, I'll switch those around. So that is basically very rudimentary kind of automated steam production. Now the thing with this is this is never going to turn off. So if this is full, which I've actually been using a lot of the steam here uh, with crafting, um, this thing like really drains it. Um, but it's if this is full, it'll just keep producing steam, but it'll waste it. So that is something to consider. But I definitely think the creosote boilers are um, pretty, or the Railcraft boilers are pretty good, especially with creosote in it. I like how they, I feel like that has been, the creosote has been buffed. Um, yeah. Now if I actually make these bigger, which I may, I, I don't know yet, uh, maybe I'll make three more and turn it into a two by two, and then I could have a higher boiler on top. It will take longer to heat up, and it'll go through creosote faster, but it will produce much more steam. And I don't think, no, creosote is not a hot liquid. Whereas steam is. These are, see, if we look at these steam, if I touch these, I will take damage. Not deadly, but it is hot. So now, I think if the hotter the liquid in there, the more damage you take. I'm pretty sure that is a thing. Um, so, yeah, let me. Let's. Uh, I 
I need to get the I want to get the um the thing crafted. Um is it file? Yeah. Now these rotor things can also be crafted. I'm trying to remember it. I think it's this. Let me see if I can remember. Hammer screwdriver file. Dang it. File screwdriver. Oh, look at that. I actually remembered. Now these can actually be crafted in the... Oh, let me put some of these away. The assembler as well. Oh, look at that. There's actually a, a mold for rotors. That's such a that's a weird amount of molten tin though. And it needs MV. I feel like this would probably be the easiest. It's just four tin in a ring, and then you have to have molten tin in it though. But you can have molten soldering alloy, which is a uh, that's a thing. So I may, I'm probably going to craft multiple assemblers, I think, and fill them with different liquids. Um, I'm probably going to keep molten rubber in this, but I might put an assembler with molten soldering alloy. Actually, really quick, let's look up. Soldering alloy is easy to make. It's just 9, 10, and 1, I think. It's easy to make. Oh, no. Soldering alloy now requires a vacuum freezer. So, just kidding. That's... Oh, no. It's not. So, you can make it in an alloy smelter. So, it's 10 ingots. And let's see what the fluid extractor is. Alright. So, you can extract it at LV tier. So, that's good to know. All right, so there's the rotors. Let's get the. I think I have most of the stuff for these pumps. All right, I got screws, rotors. I got the the rings, cables. Oh, I don't have the motors yet. Dang it! Um, hopefully I, oh, I have enough. Barely. Oh, no, I don't, because I need... Oh, I do have enough. Now, we can kind of see... If we look at this, we can kind of see how Greg Tech Pikes are working. There is room in this, and the as we can see, it's going up and down. It's not adding any more Caruso to the pipes. But the fluid is like bouncing back and forth. So it's going here, then it's emptying out, then it's coming back, and then it's emptying out. Nothing's been added to this, to this network. Um, but yeah, that's actually kind of cool. You can see how the Greg Tech fluid pipes are working. So that is like sloshing back and forth. Um, which is fine if it's always full. You know, it's always going to empty out to the next an adjacent tank. I think that's what it's doing. It's like emptying part to this and part to this and that's how it keeps going back and forth. Um, eventually that would stop in the real world, but this is Minecraft. So it looks like that's going to go on forever. So two motors, I'm trying to remember how that was. Now this is, wrench and hammer, yep. I think we're good. No, there. I was like, where did I put my motors? Motor, screwdriver, and wrench. 
And these are both about to break. Alright, but there we go. Alright, and I realized all the fireworks are these achievements. If we look at Greg Tech 5, there is a lot of achievements. Um, but those were all the fireworks that keep going off. It's me <laughs> inadvertently doing achievements. All right, so there is the electric pumps. I heard the thing. Yep. So we will claim this. The large steel fluid pipes could be helpful. I don't know what I'm going to do with them now. I don't have... They can move 9,600 millibuckets a second. I don't know if I mentioned, but the L... 9,600 liters per second. The liters are the same as millibuckets. I'm pretty sure. All right. So there, actually, there is a couple other quests. Why don't we do these all at once? So I finished this quest. I did a bunch of tin cables and copper cables because I'm going to need those anyway. So I'll claim that. Now, that I got empty cells from it, which were always helpful. And that actually finished this quest, because I already did the tin plates before. So that gets me iron bars. So doing well here. I finished a couple last. I made a clipboard to help out. Um, I just went ahead and finished the diamond ore so I could not a steam sandwich. Say cheese. How about a cheese sandwich? Oh, you get everything. Um, let's take bronze. Iron's so easy to get. And then, yeah, we'll take the the rubber pulp. All right. So I think I think that's pretty much. Oh, now we got one more over here. We get some things of creosote, and I'll take the steel plates. I do have high pressure boiler tanks, but I haven't done this part yet. Oh, my bags are full here. Alright, I think these are 10 each, right? Yep. So this is 360. This is like more than all those combined. Alright, so there's the loot bags. Holy cow, getting. Bags are filling up here. Now, what do I want to do with this? Should I just put these in here? All right, so now they're empty, as we can see. So I can move them down if I have a wrench, which is probably about to break. 1250. Uh, I think it's 400 each. Oh, it's only 50 to do that. All right, so there's the result. We'll do that. I like that better. I like hiding the uh, the pipes under. All right. I don't know if no, I'll just throw those in there for now. Oh, okay. So that just wasted all that grease out. Okay, so that's good to see. So this will insert the grease out even though there's no room to put the grease out in. Um, so yeah, be careful with these empty cells for sure. I've noticed they're quite buggy at times, but hey, good to see that. Uh, so you don't make that mistake. Spawn ocelots. Oh, apiary. I do plan on getting into bees, by the way, at some point. I don't know how much I will do uh, while recording, but I actually do enjoy bees, and I think they could actually be fun in this mod pack. Um, but anyway, as we can see... <laughs> I am getting all sorts of pull here. Okay, and I feel like I'm missing some cells. 
Didn't I have 18? Oh, maybe not. Anyway. Okay. So where do we want to go from here? Steam Age. I could... This is a charcoal pile igniter. I may do that. I don't know if I, how much I'm going to use it, but I would like to at least do it, you know, um, so we can see it, um, how it works and everything. Let's see what else we got. Some extra modifiers I can do. Forestry farm. Now that is something I will probably end up doing. Um, setting up a forestry farm for wood because it's getting pretty old running out and chopping down wood when I need it. Um, but before we kind of do that, so what do we got here? Ah, right, lead. Let's go ahead and progress a little farther with my lead. That totally missed. There is the lead, and that completed this. Got a nice mix salad from that. All right, so what do we got here? The LV GT is the next machine you can build to produce steam more efficiently than with the high pressure boiler. Okay, so this is something I haven't seen before. I'm assuming it needs. I'm assuming it needs, um, uh, oh my goodness, uh, like solid fuel is what I was trying to say. Advanced, was it advanced boiler? Okay, so there's three different types, LV, MV. So we got an electronic circuit, LV machine hull, some steel gear. All this stuff is easy to make except for this. Let's see what this is. All right. So, UVLV machine hull is easy. Copper and bronze. All right, so that's a thing. Now, this is producing, I don't think it's producing quite as much as this, to be honest. High pressure. There. This is producing 20 millibuckets per tick or. Oh, 400 steam per per second. Now this advanced boiler is producing 700. This is producing almost double. Um, does produce 35 pollution per second, but I don't think that is a lot in the grand scheme of things. And um, I did have a thought when I was like getting some weird side effects. The drowning, I, I'm pretty sure it was a mob, but I don't know, maybe it had something to do with pollution. I did have that thought, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, so that is something we can look at. I think this is, is this just like a, is this just like a one little block thing and that's it? I don't know. There is the large turbines, but we're not there yet. Um, but why don't we go ahead and do this really quick, and then we will wrap up the episode. Or we can start doing it. So to get batteries, you're going to need to do battery alloys and tin cables. Battery alloy plates are done in the usual way. Bender, but, and then it looks like you can actually do it in the blast furnace, which is kind of cool, but... I don't think there's any need to do that when you can just do it in a regular blast furnace. So it's going to be four lead and one antimony gets you five. So why don't we grab a couple antimony? I don't want to use all my lead, but why don't we do that? All right, so that's not too slow. We'll get that going. And then finally, the small battery hull is just 
the two batteries with the insulated tin on top. So that, yeah, this isn't too bad. Now, as we can see, we are building up a decent amount of steam here. The only problem is I, I'm a little, not like worried, but this is going to waste steam unless I'm like running these constantly. The, uh, which I probably should be now that I'm thinking about it. Why aren't I kind of like running this constantly? Any more redstone I noticed. So let's kind of get that going. Tetrahedrite, I can make some more. Why don't I throw this in and get some copper and all sorts. Yeah, I should be running this more. Um, anyway. Let's just finish this up. And then I will... Next episode, we will probably open up with this chemical bath. Uh, it's an easy way to make paper. Yeah, that's a good thing. I liked. I really like that in Red Clock using the chemical bath like that. Um, brewing stand. I don't think I ever built in my last playthrough. Floor washer. Autoclave, it didn't, I'm not seeing, um, fluid solidifier. I got a 64 money pipes from a quest. Alright, so this is talking about pumping up those huge oil things. There's one over there, I think. All right, so the, this, there we go. And let's just do a couple of uh, those. And that finishes that quest. So we will, Cinnabar is easy. These are all easy. Spellerite is annoying because that's another ore. It's zinc. Alright, but in order to get the batteries, um, we are going to have to go through, I think this, which I need to get salt anyway for my food. So I will... Did I find one? Okay, I haven't found a salt vein yet, so I'm going to have to search for a salt vein. And then I think this will lead to batteries. Yeah, this is asking us to get sodium for sodium batteries. All right, but that's going to be for next episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.